just got a text message that our extra batteries for this new camera have arrived at the office and I need to go throw away a Hudson poopy diaper at the big trash can. We have run into only one campground that would not take packages. It was a state park in Tennessee who literally were like dumbfounded when I asked if they accepted packages at the office. They're like, I don't even know how, like how would you get them? Like they literally had no idea. Got some batteries and one other thing. Oh, a little handheld tripod. So it's a little less shaky. These guys know our pain. That is a steep angle to get that thing out of there. This is a really popular little mini tripod for a lot of YouTubers. So it can be used just as a little selfie stick type thing or you can flip it out like a little tripod and it's got a little mini ball head. All right, check it out. And then say I'm sitting here at the desk, just pop it right out. Press the ball head button. That's pretty sweet. I really like that. Actually got kind of a slow day today. Just been working on some SketchUp designs for the new trailer and doing some editing and some filming. My uh, 110 lights, these fluorescents, keep tripping the breaker for some reason and I've narrowed it down to this one. So I can turn this on. Nope, I can't. I just flipped the breaker. So something is screwy with the wiring on these. I wonder if I should go pull these out of the wall as well. Just get everything exposed and see if it's a bad switch. Fixed it. So this one? Nope, flips it right off. Did I try the top one? Is it all the outlets? The outlets are fine, just the lights. I wonder why. Okay, I guess we start removing switch one at a time, see what happens. Or it could be a fixture. Could be anything. Uh, side project to a side project to a side project. I just broke this diffuser when I was pulling it off. I gotta glue that back up. My intention is not to hold it together with tape. I'm gonna tape it while the glue sets. I don't see how this glue is not gonna set to this tape, huh? Maybe it will be taped semi-permanently. Give that a try. Let's at least tape it nice if it's gonna be taped, huh? Now, back to the original side project. Also alarm. I started by removing each fixture individually one at a time and then testing to see if that would trip the breaker. Then I got to thinking maybe it's just this breaker. So I used a little adapter to go from my extension cord into the 30 amp circuit and of course Ta -da! Okay, today's actual project is adding this piece of angle iron to the bottom of my table saw stand Improving it a bit because the dual layer three quarter here is great It's really strong for this kind of span Unfortunately, I designed this bottom with a torsion box because I knew the bottom wouldn't be able to support that weight And then I got to thinking, you know, a piece of three quarter would do just as fine you can kind of see my reveal on this side is suffering because this bottom is sagging. So if I lift this up and put a piece of angle iron all the way across on both sides, I'm hoping it'll fix all that sag. Let's start here and see what happens. Get more out of it. Go this way. much stronger. I only needed that one little piece across the middle there to shore that up real nice. What is that? Uh, it's a Irby. Nice. It, Electric? It comes, yeah, it comes out of California. Laura and I are just driving around the park doing a little judging and a little... No judging. Just seeing what people are up to, you know? It's interesting to see how people do things differently. Ooh, they got Facebook on a really big screen. <laughs> Facebook on a 42-inch screen. I'm gonna do a little drive-by. No, no! Michael. Just getting a little glimpse. Stop it. Well, we just ran out to get some groceries and now we are heading back in. It's been a pretty uneventful day. We will leave you now. Have a good night, guys.